a really interesting um, personality for me because when I listened to your music, I was shocked that there was no element in there that was of any South Asian, you know, bend. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to do, quote unquote, music that was off the beaten path? I actually, there was no decision. Yeah. <laughs> it was just uh, music that I wrote and I've grown up with, and music is a part of everything that, that I do, and it just comes out naturally. I feel like with just any artistry, you need that critical mass, and that critical mass usually comes from um, people around you. You know, I grew up in Pakistan for a little while, I grew up in Saudi Arabia for a little while, I identify with those people a lot, but at the same time, you know, I've been in Canada for 20 years, now. so, you know, there's a really interesting melting pot of this critical mass of people. But you know, what's really important, I think, at the end of the day, is that you're doing music from um, a place that makes sense to you. I mean, I remember when I first heard about you, 2009, I want to go back there again. Number one, it was when we first met, the um, award show when we had you come out and yes. perform. Uh, how can I forget that? And I remember 2009, hey Zemir, why don't you come out to the show? Why don't you come over and hang out with these people that just won an Oscar for their movie? Slumdog. Slumdog Millionaire. And for me, that was, you know, it was huge. And I feel this now too, just coming here and being in your presence. I feel like there's a different side of me that you are, that you see. You were one of the few people back then that, that recognized what I was trying to do and respected it. And so for me, I feel like I have a lifelong connection to you. Absolutely. Um,